Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be painting a sunflower welcome sign and I just want to show you guys um, how I create this. So I usually use just a wooden round to trace out the center of my flower and the round that I'm using is about 15 inches. And the painter's pen that I'm using is from Walmart. Now that we have that drawn out, we're just going to draw our petals for our sunflower. So I always start with the big petals first. And I flipped it around to make it a little bit easier for me to do this other side. So once you have your main flower petals drawn out, we're going to do the little petals in between. So just right between these two larger petals, I'm just going to draw some smaller petals. So this is how it looks once you have it completely drawn out. So these are the paints I'm going to be using. I mostly use a sunbeam whenever I'm painting sunflowers, but I also mix in some lighter yellows as well, like real yellow. I got dandelion yellow. You can mix together just about any yellows that you have. I just always suggest adding in a little bit of brown on the edges of the petals, and I'll show you how I mix that into mine, just to give it a little bit of like a depth and try to separate all the petals from each other. So I have a little piece of cardboard here that I usually use as like my paint palette for all my paints that I mix together. So I'm mixing in sunbeam and dandelion yellow. So I'm just using a one inch brush and I'm just gonna load it up really good. So then that way you can create clean lines when you're going along tracing where you did your petals at. So I always paint the petals first and that way we don't have to be super like precise with where we're painting right here because when we go back to add our center to our flower, we can just cover this up and just make it a clean circle then. So we're just loading up our brush. So then we can go along all of our traces you just push flat on your brush and then just come around with it. Just trace right along where you drew those petals at. And then you can just fill it in and you will probably have to do a few coats of this. So you'll just load your brush up really well and then just push it right along where you drew those petals at. And we'll do this for the other side. So to create this little point with your sunflower petal, you can just load up the tip of your brush, press flat down, and then just pull your brush along. So that way it's just kind of like a little point with it and you're just going to pull it around. So just push flat and come around and then you can just fill it in. This is one of those times where you can just make the brush kind of do the work for you. So this is how it looks with the first coat. So we're going to do the inside petals first. So I'm just mixing in a little bit of brown with this. And we're just going to darken these, add in a little bit of shading to them, just to make them look like they're kind of in the background of it. So this is one of the background petals right here. Now that we have all of our background petals painted, we're going to go over top of our main petals. So these are all of our very big petals that you see the most of. And I'm just loading up my brush. You can dab it out if it's too much, but you just want enough to create the edge, but you don't want too much to where it's heavy and like pooling up. So this is where we can add in our brown to our petals. So I'm just getting, I'm just grabbing a little bit of brown here. So it's like a little... So I'm starting from this edge and I'm just going to pull right along my petal and then just blend it into the center. So you'll have that kind of darkened edge, but it gets back to the yellow into the middle part of the petal. But I usually just try to keep it kind of soft and just so the petals are kind of overlapping, I just go right over top of this one and it gives it that look like they're sitting on top of each other. That's both of those petals done. I'm just going to 
go right along this one. And we're gonna do this all the way around the side. So this is how it looks so far. So I'm using Waverly Chalk Paints Ink Black. I'm using the same exact brush that I was using for my petals, and that way I can kind of soften the black a little bit. I don't want it to be completely solid black, but we're just going to start with an edge and just come right around the flower. And this is where you can let your brush do the work for you again. So you just press flat and just come right around your petals, trying to maintain that circle that you created in the beginning. Then we have our whole circle. Now I'm just going to fill it in. So we have our whole center painted. I'm going to grab some of this yellow and some of this brown and I'm just going to mix it into the flower. I'm just going to mix it right into the center of this. I'm just going to work my way out. I'm just going to keep grabbing some of the yellow and mixing it into the middle part to lighten that part. And then just blending it out into the black. You don't have to do this part. If you want to paint it solid black, you definitely can. But I just like the look of it to have like a softness in the center of the flower. Now this is how it looks with the center painted on it. So another little bit that I do with mine is add a little bit of watered down white onto a thinner brush and then just kind of highlight the edges of the petals. So just kind of going right along each petal. So now this is how it looks with the highlights on the petals. So now we just have to add our welcome to our sign. So I cut the stencil out using my Cricut Explore Air 2. over the stencil using Waverly Chalk Paints Ink Black. Now that I have welcome added to the sun, I'm just going to add a little bit of light shading using my white paint pen. So now that all that is complete, all we have to do now is take it outside to seal it. So I'm using this Ultra Copper Spray Sealer. I usually use this or Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear Spray Sealer. And I do about two coats of this on the sign. And then you may have to reseal the sign every six months or every year, just depending on where the sign is kept. If it's kept on a covered porch out of direct weather, it'll last a lot longer, of course. But if it's out in direct weather where it's getting rained on, then you may have to reseal it every six months to every year. And here's the sign all complete. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video and also consider subscribing so you can see my future videos and creations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.